Uh, greetings, YouTube. I'm back here doing some network testing, and I, I got a pretty good one for you. Um, this is a fan requested one. So for the holiday season, I come back to North Carolina. That's where I'm from, and I got a hold of my father's uh, U.S. cellular line, and I am testing it against all three major carriers on uh in, in america so verizon at&t and t-mobile so today i'm doing verizon so verizon versus uh u.s cellular so u.s cellular is going to be here on the right hand side verizon is on the left so give you an idea about exactly where i am this is eastern north carolina i'm at near new Bern, in between new Bern and Vanceboro, North Carolina. This is a particular spot that's been identified by my family members as being kind of a very wonky spot. So what I'm going to end up doing is test both networks against each other and see what they give us. So right now, speed test on Verizon and U.S. Sailor. Hmm. I expected more from Verizon. And so Verizon at 1.66 down and 3.70 up. Uh, U.S. Sailor is at 3.74 down and 1.50 up. U.S. Cellular is beating Verizon right now. So, let's see what the speed test has to offer. Speed test failed. So, Verizon is upside down in this area. So, the first to finish, we're at 2.17, uh, 2.18 megabits down and 4.93 megabits up. U.S. Sailor is at 6.26 down and 0 0.76 up. Next one is fast.com. What type of throughput are we going to get on these respective networks? Looks like U.S. Sailor is not throttled, but Verizon currently is. As long as you stay on LTE. So 6.4 megs versus 2.6 megs. This is going to only get you a roughly about, uh, I would say, barely 480. Maybe you might be able to squeak out uh, 720, but you'll get higher than that on U.S. Sailor. All right. Wrong selection. We got imperv. We're going to cancel that and I'll update that in the background. Let's go ahead and get this going. So I am very shocked that Verizon is not doing very well here. It looks like they're in congestion, so there might be a lot more um, Verizon customers in this area than U.S. Sailor customers from the looks of it.
going through the browsing. Almost there. They have the streaming now. Seven thirty uh three sixty P working on seven twenty. US Sadly has lost the connection. All right, so we gotta count that as a fail. Seven twenty P and now ten eighty P. So US Cellular was not able to complete the task. Verizon was 5.93 down and 10.04 up. This is an upside down, so that means that there must be there's a lot of Verizon users in the area. Um browsing and streaming. Browsing is bad at this location. Streaming is still pretty good. So I wonder what's going to happen when you get ready to try to download on this on these networks. So, one gig file. Three, two, one, go. Knock that off. We're already looking at the details. So right now on US Sailor is gonna say 20 to 19 minutes. Verizon is saying 57 minutes, 58 minutes. One hour. Well, the only way we can call it right now is I'm going to give it a few minutes and see if Verizon kicks in and goes under what U.S. Sailor is showing of about 19, 18 minutes. But it looked like it's trying to drop. It's at 44 minutes now. U.S. Cellular is still dropping. It's saying 17 minutes. And Verizon's going back up and it's saying an hour. So we can uh, we can deduce from this that it would be faster to download this file from this particular spot on U.S. Cellular than it would be on Verizon right now. So this is a loss for, for Verizon against U.S. Cellular. So... Thank you all for watching this video and stay tuned for some more network testing. I got uh, a few more that I want to try out uh, going head up against good old U.S. Sailor in this region. So this is a regional carrier for the people who live here. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good one.